Roxy, look at this old mirror that I found. This is a beveled mirror. Now, you can get new beveled mirrors these days, but mm -hmm. this is an antique one. This is mm -hmm. not a new one. You know how I know? First of all, you see how this is all starting to break up? That's mm -hmm. because the silvering on the back of the glass is starting to deteriorate. Right there. See? See these where my thumb is? They're old finishing nails. Look how rusty they are. Now, one of those experts out there might say, well, yeah, finishing nail could rust in two weeks. But the way these are nailed in, and it was done, obviously not by a craftsman. Look under this paper stuff here. You can see that, how that silver, you can re-silver mirrors. I might just do it for your mirror. But right now, everybody would like to know how to hang a mirror or a picture. In this case, a mirror is just a little bit different. The good part is that you don't really have to level the mirror. So we're not going to use a level, but we are going to use what I call stud finder. This is not to be confused with a person who's looking for a date on J-date. This stud finder finds the studs in the walls. Can you see the green light? Yep. I'm going to slide this over. Look, here comes a red light right there. So I know that the wood probably starts right there. So I'm going to take a pencil. By the way, if you ever have a lead out of a pencil real far and you can't push it back in with it, you got to push the end of it and then push it back in. So we're going to put a little X right there. Let's start from the other side. And green, green. Wow. Let's assume it's going to be right about there. The stud that I'm talking about is the wood framing in the house. And in the older houses, uh-oh, you got me. I think they are every 16 inches. I gotta check that detail, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but anyway, it'll be in my blog, the right answer. So there is right about where the stud is. Why do I want the stud? Because I'm going to put a hook in there to hold the mirror up. And if I don't find the stud, it's just gonna go into plaster. And if it goes into plaster, it might not hold this mirror very well and this mirror will come tumbling down and break and we don't want that to happen. This mirror is for Roxy. I'm gonna mark where the top of your head is, right there. So there we go. Here's a little trick I found. First of all, I made the mark where I want the, the hook to be. So I took into consideration the distance between the top of the back of the mirror and where the wire that's go it's going to hook on, the diff difference. And I came up with this X. And I'm putting scotch tape over the X. This helps to keep the nail tight in the wall and not break the uh, plaster on the exterior. This is a simple picture hanger. It's good for about 30 pounds. I think this is going to work. This will be fine. So the hook part is going to go right where that X is. That means the nail is going to go above it. See that? Mm -hmm. Who's that knocking at my door? Who's that knocking at my door? Who's that knocking at my door? Said the fair young cousin. I don't know. Maiden. My ear That's hurt. in pretty tight. And it got through the plaster and got into some of the wood. Now we're going to put the mirror up. Hello, this is the Handy Cousin. We're out here on the deck to see if it's worth stripping the old paint off of Roxy's mirror. What I'm going to do is take an old brush. Where is that old brush? I know where old paint is. It's in the corral. As you can see, Roxy is spreading what's called Jasco all over it. She's got a glove on. We're in a very well ventilated area out on the deck. She's being careful so there's virtually no chance of her splashing this in her eyes. Otherwise I'd have her wearing goggles. I'll tell you right now, folks, I don't think we're going to be stripping all the paint off of this, but we are going to get the outside layers off. We're going to sand it down. We're probably going to wind up painting it instead of really refinishing it down to the wood. Roxy decided that she would like this to be painted and not stained. So right now I'm filling in little areas that are chipped over there to the right, Roxy. This is plastic wood. See that? For some reason it's upside down. <laughs> Roxy now is showing you how to make nice long strokes with your brush. This is a Purdy brush made by a company called Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. They make excellent brushes. Painting is, does not have to be a difficult thing and it's a lot of fun, isn't it Roxy? Yep, it's just like painting your nails. <laughs> once we have finished, or I should say once Roxy has finished painting, 
we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to put on some designs, maybe a flower, maybe please don't get paint all over the floor. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Here we are the next day and the paint looks really nice. Roxy is going to be in charge of painting a design on it. Roxy, why don't you tell us what you're doing? I decided to put flowers on my mirror frame. The green is going to be for the stem. The red and the yellow are going, and the blue, are going to be for the flower petals. And then the pink is going to be for, you know, like the background and it's going to look really pretty. I'm going to start right here. Um, and we're just going to pat it, basically, like that. And you don't really need a lot. Are you going to do that on the whole mirror? No. I just finished sponge painting on the top and the bottom of my mirror frame. So, Looks good, Roxy. Go. So now Roxy's painting stems of her flowers. And she's going to start by painting those stems inside the right. pink sponge painting she did. And here come the flowers. We decided to bring the project inside. It was getting kind of hot out there. And Roxy was wilting while she was painting her flowers. So now she's finished the bottom and the top to be like reflections of each other, which is what a mirror is about, reflection. And she's putting a little vine on the side right now. So we're going to let her paint for a while and find, see what this vine winds up looking like. What are you doing now, Roxy? Well, um, I'm just painting on the other side. Well, here's one side that I just finished. Are you going to leave it like that? Are you going to add anything to it? I'm going to add um, flowers. On the vine? Uh, on, yeah, on the vine. Cool. I'm going to be anxious to see what it looks like when we're all through. But we are now just um, putting little flowers. flowers. So little flowers on. I like the way you're They're, not quite touching the vine. I like yeah. that style. Um, they're pretty thick. Okay. Um, you yeah. don't want them Make to be, it a little thicker. You don't want them to be too thin or they you don't know really what they are. And it looks really nice against the white. And that pink is the same pink we used at the bottom. Yeah, and I think that just looks not not the same, how but cool. like um look at that. How can you like it kind ties of, it all together. Yeah, yeah. And it just makes it look really pretty. Uh, this is one side. Um, and now we're gonna do the other. I just finished the other side of the mirror. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stand up and show you the whole mirror. We have the flowers up top here. The nice design over here. Then we have back to the flowers on the bottom of the mirror. And then on the other side, we have the design again. There's only right one thing there. missing. The artist did not sign her name. Yeah, I know. So, um... <laughs> so you can see what Roxy did here in the mirror. You can look on the sides, see the vines. If you remember, this was a pretty shabby looking mirror frame when we started. But Roxy could do it herself and she did. All I did was watch. Okay. I threw in my two shekels once in a while. But Roxy did it herself. That's it for this week. Remember, tikkun alam starts at home. You can do it yourself.